This one, not excited for. Maybe I'm prejudging this one and thinking it's going to be way harder than it is, but... In my personal opinion right now, this is going to be one of the toughest drafts that I've ever done. And I'm doing it very early in the morning to boot. Probably not the best time. But anyway, here we are. I kind of went through the trophies and made a list of some players. Obviously, there's some other ones, but just players that I wouldn't think won trophies or just ones that I can make a quick reference to that I think will be available. I'm gonna start with trying to only do individual trophies, but if it gets to a point where it's basically impossible and there's, for example, no more defensemen that have won a trophy, then I'll go to team awards, like have won a Stanley Cup, stuff like that. But I'm gonna try my best to make a full team of players that have won individual trophies. So let's go ahead, randomize the team here, find out who we're gonna be using. It is the Tampa Bay Lightning. You know what, honestly, Jabroni, I could probably use your help on this one, but I'm still gonna have to decline. Sorry about your luck. Ooh, okay, so I have been not nailing this recently. Hopefully I do this time though. I'm gonna go with pick number four. We're getting a high draft pick. But let's see just how wrong I am, because I almost guarantee you, it's like a 1 in 32. Come on now. I did choose Fantasy Draft, right? No? Alright, well, I swear I turned Fantasy Draft on. This game's bugging. Alright, let's rewind the tape there a little bit. We're back, and obviously I'm gonna keep my number of number 4. Not gonna throw me off like that. And we get pick number 24. So close. Obviously, yes, I was being sarcastic. I was not close. We're gonna start off with Patrick Kane. 91 overall, making 2.6 because of the retained salary, so I'm in. And then our next pick is pretty close. I do want to take EK65. I also want to take Doughty, because obviously, Norris winners. See, therein lies the problem. The Norris is really the only defensive trophy, and I think we're gonna run out of defense, but... We'll try our best. I could go with Fred, because him and Ranta are a part of the Jennings winners last year. At least according to Wikipedia, and we all know that everything on Wikipedia is true. Okay, so yeah, let's go with Fred. He is 88 overall, though. Ooh, you know what? I think I gotta prioritize defensemen. I really do, because it's gonna be a big gap between our next picks, and... I don't know if EK is gonna last... I mean, he probably will, but am I willing to run that risk? I could also take Landeskog, who is 29. Doughty and... Okay, you know what? I'm going to save a goalie for later because there are some goalies I can take and the overalls aren't going to be phenomenal, but got to get my priorities straight here and take <laughs> players while I can. So I'm going to go with Gabriel Landeskog, who probably has some other trophies, maybe, but he also won the Calder. So there you go. He is going to be our first line left winger. They're both still here, and I am not risking it anymore. EK65, welcome to the team. And then Drew Doughty, Dewey's... Who did it? All right, there you have it. The Winnipeg Jets woke up and chose violence, so we are going to make them our nemesis. And I, as a result, am going to pick Patrice. Yeah, the average age of this team is once again thrown out the window. It doesn't matter. Brent Burns has also received a Norris, 87 overall, and I am not letting what happened last time happen again, so making that selection instantly. I'm also gonna grab Kopitar while we still can, 88 overall. Making 10 million, which is a little excessive, but again, we only have so many options. This team is truly designed for a one-year run. After that, we are absolutely doomed. Doesn't matter, though, because this is, in fact, a one-year sim. Let's go, Flower. This trophy does not even exist anymore, but he has won the plus-minus award, so David Krejci is going to be joining our Tampa Bay Lightning as well. A lot of centermen? Yep. But William Carlson is also the recipient of a trophy, so he is going to most likely be playing wing. I guess we'll find out, but I really don't care. As long as you're a forward, we can figure it out. But we need defensemen. There is one defenseman I want to grab before it's too late, which again, this is probably still way too early to be selecting him, but I can't run any risks. Don't tell me he's already gone. There's no way. You are kidding me. Never mind, he's still here. Tyler Myers, six foot eight. What an absolute unit. 
Six million dollars. What's our salary cap looking like? Uh-oh. King Clancy winner Jason Zucker. We need wingers as well. So this is prime. 5.5 is, you know, taking a big dent of what remains of our salary cap, but... We might still be able to squeeze in some players. We'll see. Honestly, that Patrick Kane pick is saving our bacon right now because we would have no cap space left. Okay, now I'm excited because the Marc Messier trophy was given to Wayne Simmons in 2018-19. So he is 1,000% joining this roster. Also, Giordano is actually on a couple trophies, so we can go ahead and select him. He's right here, 83 overall, and he's left, which I think we need to play with Tyler Myers. That is perfect. 800k, literally couldn't ask for a better pick right now. We've also got Nick Foligno in the pipeline, so could possibly grab him in the future. Jonathan Taves would love to do that. Salary cap does not permit it, however. Some of these trophies, there's no point looking at. You know, like the Rocket Richard, might as well get rid of that one because no shot. Um, actually hold that thought. Corey Perry won the Rocket Richard? How did I not know this? I also had no idea that Jamie Benn won an Art Ross. I mean, pretty sure he's gone already and the salary cap also would not permit that, but is Jumbo Joe still like a 78 overall in this game or something like that? Because we could draft him. Am I reaching at this point? Yup, but we need players. Jonathan Quick is an option, but 2.9, and then we have Halak, who's two overall worse, but making 1.4 less. Oh, but then we've got Grice, who's making even less, and he's the same overall. So maybe we'll go with good old Tommy. Yeah, I am gonna do that. Here we go. Goaltenders, done. I think we're kind of SOL with defensemen at this point. Oscar Lindblom with the Masterton, well-deserved, and 81 overall. Let's go. There he is, the man of the hour, Corey Perry, joining the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's just coming right back to the team he's already on. Nick Foligno had won the Clancy 3.8. I was going to try to trade for some defensemen. Don't know if that's going to be possible with the cap space we'll have, but we'll see. Yeah, we're just going to have a lot of centers, but it is what it is. Joe Thornton. I'm assuming that some of these centers might even have winger as their secondary position, so we should be... Okay, I will also be drafting Brian Boyle, another centerman, but doubles as a winger. So that is perfect, and that will complete our offense. Now we need defensemen, and I don't think we can find anybody that's won a trophy, but let's see. I'm going to grab Wayne Simmons for now, actually. Maybe put him on defense, because that is an option. Okay, I think it is possible if I can find one player. Because I think they were still in the game. They just had a really low overall now. Let's go, Shea Weber. We're bringing him back, baby. 70 overall. And our team is officially full of individual trophy winners. Are we going to have a forward playing defense? Yeah. Do we have a 70 overall defenseman? Absolutely. So I'm definitely going to have to send some players down. They might try to put Merkley in the lineup because, you know, he's actually a defenseman. And I think Mason Shaw is his name. I'm not sure what his overall is, but he's probably like very low 80s to high 70s. The best part about it is that we're actually cap compliant. Simming up to the regular season, have the three pop-ups. The amount of times I've seen these doing career sims and stuff like that is ridiculous. Moment of truth. Here we go. Edit lines. And... Oh, okay, a plus five and then a plus two. And this is, yeah, this is perfect. I just gotta probably send some players down because defensively, they've got... Oh, wait! Suter hasn't won any trophies, I don't think. Jumbo Joe as a defenseman? I mean, him and Brent Burns got together incredibly, so... Let's go. I was also wrong about Mason Shaw. He is a lower overall than I expected. Um, this ain't good. I'm gonna stick Thornton with Weber on the final pair there, although our ice time allocation is roll all pairings. Whatever. At least we got a plus one for these two, and we're just gonna hope for the best. So I'm gonna send down Suter, who I guess the computer drafted, and I'm gonna send down Shaw, and I think that's it. Pretty sure we should ha- All right. Congrats. If you wanted him so bad, why didn't you just draft him? All right, just for the sake of it, I'm going to do best lines again and then go to defenseman. And that is actually what it recommends anyway, apparently, but it wants Burns on the right side. So that's our team in net. We have Flower backed up by Tommy. And I think we're ready to go. Are we going to be good? It's hard to say. You know what? I'm going to guess a 43 win playoff run and 
Patrick Kane gets the most points, obviously, with 81. So we'll go ahead, sim up to the trade deadline. Maybe we could grab another defenseman, someone who actually plays defense, but it's going to be tough because the defensemen that I missed out on were like Drew Doughty and Jacob Slavin, so I don't see us getting them. All right, this just in, we are not making the playoffs. It is a rough go already. As fun as it is watching us get rinsed every night, I'm going to try to make a defenseman trade. Although I do not see that being a TSN turning point. Let's go Patrice. You know what? Bergeron just earned a promotion. Congrats. You're on the first line now. Actually, you know what? Dumba was a recipient of the Clancy and he's going to be a lot easier to get. Tampa Bay has no draft picks. I can't get over this. So I do kind of feel like we're cheating here. So this isn't going to be you know, considered a success if we go on to turn it around. But I still think it's worth it because there's no point just watching us get absolutely wrecked every single game. So let's give it a shot for Dumba. Perfect. I'm going to keep Bergeron on this line just to change things up because obviously what we have right now is not working. And now we've got Dumba slotted into play with Burns. Weber will be playing with Myers. I guess Jumbo is probably scratched, I would imagine. Yep. And in net, Flower with Tommy. Let's go. See if we can maybe spin this thing around. Nah, we just don't got it. This is rough. Getting dusted night in and night out. We're probably going to be the last place team in the entire NHL. Which, I mean, to be honest, if you look at our team, we could use the first overall pick. So, you know, we're tanking, I suppose. Truthfully, I'm just happy that even the draft part works. The fact that we got all individual trophy winners on our team is a thumbs up in my book. Morgan Riley is available at this year's trade deadline. I'm not going to make any more moves. I mean, we could try to get Jamie Ben, but it's too little too late. We have already been deleted from the playoffs. After the trade deadline, we've been really big on losing in overtime or shootouts. I don't know what's up with that, but I'll take the one point. You know what? I'm just going to sim past the playoffs now, and then we'll just go look at all the stats at once. How does that sound? Well, too bad, because we're doing it anyway. San Jose and Philadelphia in the finals, and it will be the Sharks going home with the Stanley Cup. The Providence Bruins win the Calder. The Ottawa Senators are your President's Trophy winners. They had Ovi playing with Nas and Hirito. That is a very good first line. Then they got Lee Strom in patches. Fair enough. Lindgren and Latang on their first offensive pair. Vazzy and Net. Okay, I'm quite confident we finished dead last. Y no, we didn't. The Vancouver Canucks, with a nice amount of points, finished one below us right there. They had Barzal, who I also could have taken, but obviously that didn't work out. We have John Carlson, Robin Leonard, Annette. Robin Leonard also could have been drafted. Where is San Jose? There they are. Sixth in the league. They had, hold on. They had Rizzi as their head coach. Obviously, they won. Jesper Bratt playing with Shifley and Pasta. Zadina with Kirby Doc and Fabry. That is a young, talented second line. Kerfoot playing with Geeky and LeBanc. All right. Stellars and Wallstedt in net. Romanov and Montour. That is an interesting team. We just didn't get point production. That's all it is. What it boils down to. Landy had 64. Kane, 63. EK, 65 at 58. So that's pretty solid. Our goalies were left out to dry. I'm assuming that having a 70 overall defenseman did not help. Vazzy up at the top there, 45 Ws and a 928 save percentage. Are you kidding me? And then Logan Thompson, 38, 26 and four with an 897 save percentage. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in the top five have a sub 900. Quinn Hughes got 72 points. What a good number. And he would lead defenseman this year. Charlie Mack with a nice amount of points. Yossi, 66. And we did have one player to break hundo this year and who other than Connor Mick. 104, and then we've got Willie Nye, the hockey guy, 98 points, 96 from Pasta, and then it's a pretty big drop-off to the fourth. Holy crap, Nylander just went off this year. 32 points in 22 playoff... Oh, he's playing with McDusty. Okay, so it all checks out. Right. Probably should have seen that on the previous screen, uh, but just didn't really register. Anyway, Thompson did much better in the playoffs, a 924, but Stellaris, what a season from him. 919 save percent... What? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know why I thought he'd be higher than that in overall, but still. Montour, 14 points in 24 playoff games, 86 overall. Not too shabby. Point a game from Rasmus Anderson. Noah Hannafin with 12. So I guess that means that Will Nye the Hockey Guy is your Conn Smythe winner. On that note, 
Let's check the awards, shall we? San Jose Sharks with the Stanley Cup. So maybe Willie didn't win the Conn Smythe. Because him and McDusty were on the Broad Street Bullies. The plot thickens. Okay, well, let's go to individual trophies. There is no way we're seeing any Tampa Bay Lightning logos here. Conn Smythe goes to Pasta. There you have it. Vazzy with the Vesna and the Jennings. And no Tampa Bay players. Shocker. There is the playoff tree, if you were wondering. Thank you for the draft suggestion. It was a good one. And, you know, it was very difficult, I gotta say, to try and put a team together. But we managed to do it. It was possible. And although we did not succeed in the sim, we succeeded in putting a team together. So... That is a W of its own. Stats show that 172% of you watching this video are not subbed. So if you could do that real quick, be fire. And on that note, I will see you soon.